matchup, the first of two this week for the Brampton Battalion. Now, the big story surrounding tonight's game is a pair of homecomings, the first of which is Stan Butler, who will be behind the Brampton bench for the first time this season after serving a two-game suspension. The other homecoming may be a little bit more notable. Rafi Torres will be in the lineup for the first time this season for the Brampton Battalion as he was returned from the New York Islanders on Wednesday. At this time, I'll send you up to the play-by-play -play voice of the Brampton Battalion, Doug Anderson, and his partner, Sam Cosentino. Gentlemen. Can't stop it. Colt King hops into the play. Grenier then gets run over big time by David Paye. Back to Hedberg. He sidesteps the check. Hedberg right in on goal. Kent with a big save. Wow, what a huge hit by Paye on Matt Grenier in the corner. In fact, he's still feeling the ill effects. The ice. The shot from Aleko. That hits the skate in front. Back to Woods. His wrist shot to the side. Right out in front. Maleko can't get it to the forehand. Backhand shot. Anderson. Rebound. They score. Jason Maleko. Wow, some great puck movement by the battalion. Maleko comes in off the point. Had a chance to bury it a little earlier in the sequence from the top of the circle. Didn't do so. He lost a handle on the puck. Stayed down and was very persistent. He finally got the puck onto the backhand, went upstairs beating Anderson, and the battalion jump out to the 1-0 lead. Yeah, I'll tell you something. That whole play was made possible, and we can run this through in the replay. Watch Malenko in front of the net. Well, you see here, he loses the handle on it, and then he goes for the puck again, gets it, and quickly goes upstairs. Craig Anderson with no chance at all, and the battalion take the 1-0 lead. The Raffi with a nifty move on St. Pierre. Gets it out to Bateman who tips it ahead. Van Lusen at the blue line is onside. Back for Torres. Johnny scores! Raffi Torres! Well, there you have it. The line again that features Raffi Torres, Jeff Bateman, and Van Lusen. The lucky one to be able to play with him in this threesome this time. And watch the move by Raffi Torres. We'll get a look at the replay as he started to swing wide. He took the pass from Van Lusen really coming towards the center of the ice as he cuts towards the net. And again, up high, and it looks like that's the scheduling report on Craig Anderson so far. Get the puck up high over his shoulders. Anderson down a little early, although I don't think he would have had a chance making the stop on Torres anyhow. Well, ends up on top of Peters. And Chuck knocks Hennessy off the puck. And we got our first tilt of the night. This is Rice. Peters, Rice and I Peters, believe it they is, came yeah. together close inside of the glove end. Rice throwing a couple of quick rights, but... Well, Dougie, it started moments ago at the center ice area. Peters, uh, actually, Rice took a great pinpoint pass from the defenseman, and then he moved up towards the center ice line, lost the puck from there on and then out. Peters had him. Hand Flash has the puck at the blue line, played in the corner. Torres steps out of front, and loops and scores! Well, How guess quick who, is w? that? Guess who, Rafi Torres, great with the puck, good stance there to find Aaron Van Lusen all alone in front of the net. Van Lusen, that puck barely touched his tape. He had it off the stick in no time at all, beating Craig Anderson, this time low to the five hole. And just like that, the battalion have jumped out to a 3-0 lead. Needed less than 10 seconds on that power play to get it done. Rowan. Rowan tips it ahead for Lucas Hobble. Hobble's got McClement heading to the front of the net. Sidesteps the check to the outside. Hobble right out in front. Rebound. Big save coming from Anderson. And a pile up ensues in front of the net. Anytime you get traffic around the goaltender, you're liable to have these types of incidences happen. Kevin Dahlman now and Jay McClemmon taking it towards the side of the net. And it was McClemmon creating traffic in front of Craig Anderson in front of that Guelph net. Unable to jam home a couple of rebounds. Chris Rowan in there as well. And the battalion doing a good job putting pressure on. But I'll tell you what, Craig Anderson, he's really been solid. It's good job from Torres to Van Lusen. For Bateman out in front. Jeff Bateman to the backhand. Big save coming from Anderson, who keeps it in at the blue line. St. Pierre turns, wrist shot, he scores! Well, there's that line that's been so successful here tonight for the Guelph Storm. St. Pierre, Colt King, and Sue Cup. And it's St. Pierre there going low to the short side, beating David Chant for the first goal of the hockey game for the Guelph Storm. All as a result 
of a turnover at the Brampton Blue Line, but good teams will take advantage of those things. And right there, St. Pierre gets it done, getting the Guelph Storm on the board. Yeah, we didn't see it on that replay. At the top of the screen, it was Rafi Torres putting it through his legs and trying to get it across the blue line. He lost the puck, and that's when it was given to St. Pierre. Really, though, a weak goal. David Chen should have had that a weak shot along the ice. He sidesteps the check. Good job by Bateman. Two on one. This is Van Leusen for Torres. Torres looking for Van Leusen again. Gets him the pass. And Anderson is up to the task as he got a piece of it through the crease. Flash pins Stevens against the boards. Thompson's got a man with him. Thompson over for Grenier. Shot. Anderson with the save. To the blue line. Hedberg cannot keep it in. Hedberg being pressured by Hobble gives it away to Rowan. Rowan's got McClement with him. Goes off his gate. McClement shot. Rebound. They hit the side out of the net. Great opportunity for Chris Rowan. Well, pulling the goaltender with just 15 seconds left. This is Tyler Hanchuk. Up for Jay Harrison. Harrison gets hammered at center ice by Colt King. Race out in front. They can't put it home with just three seconds remaining in the hockey game. And the battalion will go undefeated in their first two games at home to kick off the 2000-2001 season with a 3-1 victory over the Guelph Storm. Well, a great homecoming for Stan Butler, who made his debut on the bench here in this 2000-2001 season after serving a two-game suspension for an incident last year in the playoffs. Also, Dougie, a great homecoming for Rafi Torres, who gets on the board in just his first game returning from camp with the New York Islanders. And now the Brampton Battalion have a lot to look forward to, including their next hockey game against the Owen Sound Platers coming up. I'll tell you something, this Brampton Hockey Club really turned it up when they had to, and they made sure that they kept Guelph at bay for the early part of this third period. They knew there would be an onslaught. They knew there would be a big rush by Guelph to kick off this third period, especially since Guelph had a 14, 15 second power play. But uh, Guelph uh, really came up short, and Brampton comes up with a 3-1 victory. We're going we're to take a break here on OHL Primetime. We're coming back with our post game. Stay with us on Roger Sports. Back to the Brampton Center here where the Brampton Battalion have just knocked off the Guelph Storm by a score of 3-1. to one. Here with tonight's first star, Jason Maleko, who's also becoming a regular here on OHL Prime Time. Uh, Jason, everything just seems to be going well now. Rafi Torres back in the lineup. Butler back behind the bench. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, our first two games, I, I wasn't too happy with our team effort. You know, we got an assist, I mean, got the uh, tie in the, in the win, but uh, tonight I thought we played a way better game, played more 60 minutes, played our style, you know, our 1-2-2-4 two, two, check, got the puck deep, worked their defenseman, and you know, a guy like Rafi coming back and a goal and assist uh, had a pretty good night. Yeah, how does it feel to have Rafi Torres back in the lineup, back in the room, back on the bench? You know, Rafi's a great guy uh, in the dressing room and on the ice. You know, he brings a lot of uh, character to the room. And uh, as you can see, he's a very good skilled player. And with him in the lineup, you know that, you know, he's going to chip in with some offense because he's so talented. And uh, it opens it up the ice for some other, the other players. And, and it, really works for, it really works well out for him. And what do you guys take away from today's game? You know, uh, we still had a few mistakes out there, a uh, couple little things we still got to work on, you know, uh, some of our conditioning and uh, this, this is our defensive zone coverage and stuff like that. And I think we just keep on working hard, working hard in practice and uh, just keep on building on tonight's effort. All right, Jason, thanks a lot. Great game tonight and uh, thanks again for stopping by on OHL Primetime. It's time to head upstairs to Doug and Sam to wrap things up. Thanks, Hammer. 3-1 uh, big victory at home here for the Battalion. And I'll tell you something, Sam. The Battalion are starting off this season much the same way they started off last season with uh, uh, a consecutive winning streak. Well, I think uh, what happened in the first hockey game, they tied the Mississauga Ice Dogs 2-all. Everyone a little bit concerned about that. Mississauga Ice Dogs, no pushover this year. A lot better hockey team than they have been in years past. From there, they came home, beat the Ice Dogs 4-2, and now... They have their second win of the season, a two-game winning streak going as they defeat the Guelph Storm 3-1. to one. Let's take a look at the third goal for the battalion, and this was a big one. This is the one that kept the Guelph Storm away from uh, contention in this hockey game. Well, on the power play, Torres gets it out front to Van Lusen, who scores his second goal of the year. Aaron Van Lusen, the second star in the hockey game tonight. He had a goal and an assist 
Rafi Torres also had a goal and an assist, but the second star, Aaron Van Lusen, getting it done with the game winner on the power play. And Jeff Bateman picking up the third star in that in the hockey game as well as, uh, of course, Jason Maleko first star. So that does it from the Brampton Center, a big 3-1 victory. Some real, some final thoughts. Well, some final thoughts. Brampton looking good. We're ready to take it downstairs to Mike the Hammer Hancock. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. And, of course, our next broadcast coming up here on Rogers Television and OHL Primetime will be the Battalion and the Oshawa Generals on Friday night, October the 6th at 7.30, right here on Rogers Sports. That will just about wrap things up here for this evening's game. On behalf of Sam Cosentino and Doug Anderson, I'm Mike Hancock saying good night, and we'll see you Friday, October the 6th for the Generals and the Battalion. Good night, everyone.